Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add days to dates. Here in column B, we have some dates. Let's say that you want to add some days to all these dates. There are multiple ways to do it, but I'm going to show you two easy ways to do the same. In cell C3, let's put the number of days we want to add to all these dates. Let's pick 5. And in cell C6, we should type in the formula as equal to, let's pick D6 plus cell C3. Now we need to fix C3 because we are going to use the same cell to add to all these dates. So let's click F4 and this will fix the cell C3. There. So to the date 5121, we've added 5 days which results in 5621. I can just double click the formula over and to all these dates, we've added 5 days. When we change the value in cell C3, all the dates in the column C should get updated. So let me put this as 45 days. And uh, to this date in cell C3, we've now added 45 days. This method does not change our inherent date. It just adds to this date the number of days we add. Another way to do it is using paste special, but that will change the underlying data itself. So let's say that we want to add 25 days to our date. We need to copy this cell and now select the dates where you want to add these days to. Right click, paste special, and go to paste special. And here we have an option of operation where you can do add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So we could add. We need to also use values. I'm not going to do it just to show what's going to happen. And I say, okay. The number of days has been added to this date, but it's gone to the inherent format of Excel, which is just showing numbers as Excel stores dates as numbers. We don't want this. So I'm going to undo this. And again, copy, select our dates, paste special, go to paste special. And here we can do the operation of add and instead of all we are just going to use values note the dates here and i press ok they've all been updated with 25 days added and our formula column also is now updated we can also subtract the days using the same method so we have 25 selected right now and our date column selected so i'm again going to right click paste special Again, do paste special and here choose values and subtract and say OK. So we got back our original date. Date manipulation can be very important when you need to do some calculations. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.